I was about 17 years old when I moved away from home. And I remember my mother saying to me on the day of going out into adulthood that the world outside would be waiting for me with expectations, like there would be this little square little room over to the right where I was supposed to move in to be accepted by society and do this and do that. And uh, my mom said to me, uh, don't ever go there. She said, uh, you were born with your feet down and remain in your position. Find yourself and accept yourself the way you are. Do not strive to be fantastic. Life will come to you anyways. And I have brought this with me into uh, my own little future. I grew up with, as a little boy with low self-confidence and uh, self-esteem in absence. And it was hard being a little guy and it ain't much easier growing up. And now we're seeing society, the expectation box grow stronger and the forces from over there is sucking us into running towards something that I have seen being a mirage. We're supposed to go up and go running a 10K, 10 minutes before we wake up listening to Tony Robbins in our iPods. No, not headphones, iPods, and they're supposed to be white. And, we, and when, once we get back home, we're standing on our head, meditating, taking a shower in ice cubes because we have heard that this makes us perfect people. It ain't true. Then we have blueberry garlic shake for breakfast and we put on our lycras. Don't forget the lycras, the essence of humanity. And we arrive at the gym 10 minutes before it opens and we spend 10 minutes growing, reading books, listening to wise people saying wise, thing about, wise things about life itself. And we expand and we turn to go towards that unreachable goal that's out there. Personally, I am none of that. I am absolutely nothing of this. I sleep until the day awakens me and I have gotten my rest. I have cigarettes and coffee and aspirin for breakfast. I'm a horrible person. I eat fat foods, I eat salty foods, I eat creamy foods and I indulge and I live in gluttony. And he makes me sort of happy, but I fail. Oh, do I fail? No, I am no good according to the box. I've been fired in the 70s, I've been fired in the 80s, I've been fired in the 90s, I've been fired in the 2000s, I smoke a pack and a half a day, I am an alcoholic, I have a gambling addiction, I got fired from the army, I get fired from fucking everything, and you know what, I can't even get a job. I have applied for over 100 jobs, and I believe that my CV is currently in the hands of about five or 10 or 15 recruitment companies, and none of them have called. So a long time ago, I took my mom's wisdom word to bring with me into life myself, not the unobtainable goal of being something else. I brought with me my discrepancies, my flaws, my faults, my worries, but also my heart and my little mind of my own. And I used what I had because I have seen that when people use what they have, not what they don't have, things will take them in a direction of productivity. 
I am so proud that all of my littleness has given me so much in life. It is pretty amazing, at the same time quite sad, that a person like I, that have nothing compared to the elite out there, have done so much out of my, so far, 60 years in life. Fuck, I'm 60 years old, Jesus Christ, I believe I look younger, I hear I do not. Kids stand up now on the bus offering me their seat, and that's kind of irreversible and you gotta sort of dig it and go with the program but with a little little seed of uniqueness that I brought with me into life I have also built things made things and I as one individual in Sweden out of 10 million have won the award of being this or that in Sweden 17 times out of 10 million. I don't even want to even, even speculate in what would have happened if I would have taken a shower in a headstand, meditating, listening to Tony Robbins, and listening to all the advice I've gotten from the outer world, because I believe that if I had listened, I would have gotten nowhere. But my mother gave me one thing, the advice of being nice, of being gentle with other people's lives and thoughts and feelings and vulnerability. And being nice can conquer all the powers of what's supposed to be the greatness of life, listening to podcasts from success story people around the world. If I would have done this, nothing would have happened. I was here to present to you the power of nice. Give it, pay it forward. Thank you. I'm Parhutnik.